The FDA is adding sesame to its list of major food allergens. That means starting in the new year, food labels will have to clearly show if it's in any product. Sesame allergies affect people of all ages and symptoms can range from coughing and itchy throats to shortness of breath and a drop in blood pressure. Whether COVID, influenza, RSV, the winter ickies are circulating in Minnesota, I'm to tell you that. But as Kaya Edwards shows us, some of these viruses' case numbers are actually going down. Interesting. Hi, Kaya. Hey, Chris. A doctor at Alina Health's Uptown Clinic tells us flu cases are going down, and the Minnesota Department of Health says RSV cases are too. A mixture of reasons patients are seeing their doctors this winter. So right now, it's almost even between influenza, RSV, and uh, uh, COVID. But infectious diseases physician Dr. Frank Rame says it depends on their age. Most of the COVID patients we see are older because uh, they're, they're the ones who get sickest. The RSVs are at the extremes, young and old. And for influenza, it, that's we all see that. The flu came about two months early this year, but cases have dropped over the last two weeks. The, it went as high as the worst year, and now it seems to be going back down. Whether or not we'll see another increase in the coming weeks is too soon to say. But Melissa McMahon uh, and Erica well, Mama are from the Minnesota uh, see Department some of Health. Out. They say RSV cases, and it can lead to severe disease um, such as bronchiolitis or pneumonia, are also going down across the seven county metro area. We were seeing. Um, hospitalizations up to about 180 per week um, last, you know, as of about a month ago, but now we're seeing decrease um, in numbers now below 100. And as for COVID, MDH says cases remain steady. COVID is still present. Um, right now we are at um, what we're describing as a high plateau. And Dr. Rame is urging people to get the bivalent booster dose. And th so the, the holiday season is, is one of those more challenging ones than just gathering because it's cross-generational gathering. The kids that are in, in school are, are definitely getting it, and you've got uh, the grandparents who are visiting. And it's particularly important to not get it yourself, and that means, in my opinion, uh, masking, not uh, taking a test before you get together, and uh, getting the uh, appropriate boosters. And speaking of vaccines, MDH says it is never too late to get a flu shot, even if you've already had the flu this year. The vaccine protects against four strains of influenza, and it is possible to get more than one in a year. Chris? All right. Good news. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it.